when I go on, I just feel like happy and like just excited to play the game. I love seeing Ichiza growing, having fun. You can feel uh, since he started playing hockey, he has friends. He can feel like okay, I belong here. That makes me happy. It's just it's just like one of my hobbies and I really like doing. And I like and when I get the chance to play I just I'd go for it. So we left Rwanda because of the genocide. Uh, so it was July 2015, it is when we moved here. We used to go to the food bank on Saturday and so two men approached us and it was Jeff and it was with another guy and they, they asked us, do you think your kids will love to play hockey? And for me, I did not have an idea what was hockey. Well, I'm part of a volunteer service group uh, called the Donville Civitan. So one of my Civitan colleagues, uh, Peter McKinnis, and myself went over and we set up a little table in the area where some people were meeting and um, we had about four or five kids show up and Kiesel was one of those kids. A new, very new thing to learn. It took, a, it took a, quite a lot of time for it to be good. You know, he wanted it. He wanted to be a hockey player. He wanted to be part of something that was very Canadian. It became pretty obvious, too, that he was a lean-in kind of player. He's a great little skater, and he took to it like a duck to water, I'm going to say. He's been like a father figure for me, really. If I didn't meet Jeff, I wouldn't be as good as a hockey player I am right now, because he like really taught me most of the things I know. Jeff knows hockey. He knows people. So I think he's just uh, uh, imparting great wisdom upon Kiza. You know, I think Chantel and the family on their own could have probably pulled Housley together, but to play select hockey, then the next level up, would have been a bit of a challenge. For me, I told him, I will do my best. Imagine it to say, oh, no, you cannot go because I cannot pay it. I was watching a video on TikTok and I saw something popping up in Hockey Canada. And they asked, at the end, they asked you if you would like to receive a, a, an email or a notification for assisting fund. I say, sure. And a few, I think a few, a month, I cannot remember, I said it was approved. I said, oh, <laughs> thank God. Me just knowing that 5,000 kids got to like keep playing it, keep playing a sport that they love, that I love and stuff. It's like really, yeah, it's nice. I'm really proud of him. Uh, I can see an improvement. I can see him going so hard and improve. I'm very proud. He's a great young man. They're a great, they're a great family. Um, you know, we just we really enjoy them, and, and I've really enjoyed being part of his journey. To be sure. Thank you, Hockey Canada Foundation, for giving me an assist. <laughs>